In this video, we're going to look at two things. We're going to learn how to convert between squared units of area, so like between square feet and square inches. And then we're going to look at how to convert between cubic units of volume, so like between cubic feet and cubic inches. This question asks, how many square inches are in 2.4 square feet? So we're going to be converting here between feet squared, square feet, and inches squared, square inches. And we'll be starting with 2.4 square feet. We're going to want to multiply this by a conversion factor to get rid of the square feet. So to make this conversion factor, we want to find a relationship between feet and inches. One foot equals 12 inches. There it is. Here's a mistake that people often make. I don't want you to make it. Often people take a look at this relationship and they think, okay, I'm going to make that into a conversion factor, 12 inches over one foot. I can just multiply this by the conversion factor. Absolutely not. Don't do it. Why not? Why can't you do this? Well, it's because this unit up here is feet squared and this unit down here is just regular feet. So you can't cancel them because they're different units, square feet, regular feet. So we've got to make a relationship that we can then use to build the conversion factor, and this relationship has to have square feet and square inches. Here's how we do it, okay? We're going to start by rewriting one foot equals 12 inches. And now what we're going to do is we're going to square both sides of this. It's fine to square something on one side of an equal sign if you square what's on the other side of the equal sign. So I'm going to put both of these things in parentheses, squared, squared. Okay, now we have to distribute this exponent. So it's going to be 1 squared equals 1, and the squared also goes to the feet. So now we've got feet squared. There's our 1 square foot equals 12 squared, that's going to be 144, and then we've got inches squared. So now we have square inches. Now I can use this relationship to make a conversion factor that has feet squared, or square feet. So this is saying that for every one square foot I have, I have 144 square inches. So since I have 2.4 square feet here, I'm going to want to multiply this by the 144 square inches that I have in each of my one square feet. Now I have square feet up here and square feet down there, so they'll cancel out. That leaves me with units of square inches, and I'll do 2.4 times 144 divided by 1, rounded to two significant figures, equals 350 square inches. Now let's look at units of volume. What is 2,400,000 cubic centimeters in cubic meters? The answer might surprise you. So we're going from centimeters cubed to meters cubed, and we're starting with 2,400,000 cubic centimeters. The relationship between meters and centimeters is that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. But as we saw before, don't mess up and think that you can write a conversion factor to get rid of cubic centimeters by putting something like this with 100 centimeters on the bottom. No, because these are regular centimeters, they're not cubic centimeters. So to get this into a relationship that will give us cubic centimeters, we're going to rewrite 1 meter equals 100 centimeters, and now I'm going to cube both sides of the equation. This to the third, and this to the third. Distribute this. Now, 1 to the third just equals 1. Meters to the third gives us one cubic meter. Now, a hundred cubed is one million, right? One hundred times one hundred times one hundred. Now, the cube distributed onto centimeters gives cubic centimeters. So, the conversion factor now is going to put cubic centimeters on the bottom. So, I'm going to have a million cubic centimeters and I'm going to have one square meter on the top, just telling us that for every one square meter we have, we have a million cubic centimeters. Cubic centimeters on the top, on the bottom, two 
million, 400,000 times one divided by a million is going to give us 2.4 cubic meters. So a whole bunch of cubic centimeters are not that much in cubic meters. So you can use the strategy of squaring, cubing both sides of a relationship to come up with conversion factors that you can use to convert between any squared units of area or cubed units of volume. So just as one last example, if I wanted to convert between, say, square miles and square kilometers, I'd just take this relationship and I'd square both sides, giving me one square mile equals 2.589 square kilometers. Or I could do this exact same thing to get cubic kilometers and cubic miles. One cubic mile equals 6.679 cubic kilometers. So you can then use these relationships to build conversion factors that will let you go back and forth between these two units.